In this video, I'll show you how to make a bootable USB for Android TV. So let's take a look. To begin, we're gonna open up our browser. We're gonna be heading over to the XDA developers forum. And I'll make sure I put a direct link for this in the description below. Once we have this web page opened up, we can go ahead and scroll down. And as we scroll down here, you can see that there is a download link for the ISO image for Android TV, the x86 version. There's also some APK files for Netflix if that's something you wanna add on later on. So we'll go ahead and click on the download link. It's gonna take us to the mega website. We can just click on the download link over here and it's gonna to begin to download the file. The total size of this file is just under one gig, which is fairly big. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead to the next step. We're gonna jump over to Rufus. Rufus.ie is the official website. And if we scroll down a bit here, we can see that there is a download link. Rufus 3.20 is the latest one out. It's 1.3 megs in size, so it's not very big. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. We can go ahead and click on this and let it download. And we have both files downloading right now. And what I'll do is I'll just jump over to the next step. Okay, so now that we have both of them downloaded, we can go ahead and open up Rufus. And the Rufus tool is gonna to be the one that we're using to create the USB drive. So I'm gonna minimize this window. I'm gonna open up Rufus, and here we go. Uh, I'm gonna plug in my USB drive. The USB drive that I'm using is the Kingston G4 Data Traveler. This is a solid device. Uh, it's really cheap. You can get it on Amazon for like just five, six bucks, uh, depending on the size. I'm using a 16 gig version, uh, but it comes in 32, 64, 128. Anyways, I'm just mentioning that because it's a very durable device. Inside the Rufus tool, what we have is the device name up at the top, which is the one that we just plugged in. And we wanna leave the boot selection as default. And then we're gonna click on select. When you click on select, it's gonna open up your file manager. And what you wanna do in here is select the ISO image file that you have just downloaded. So here it is, I have it here. I'm gonna select it so it's highlighted and then click on the open button. And back at Rufus, we can keep pretty much everything as default. So the partition scheme is gonna be default. The target system is gonna be default as well. Under format options in the volume label, you can put whatever label you want in here. This is just a label for the drive. I'll put in Android TV. Below we have file system. We're gonna be leaving that as FAT32. And then we also have the cluster size. We'll be leaving that as default. And then all we have to do now is click on start. So it's gonna go ahead and confirm that it's gonna be erasing everything on the drive, which we're okay with that. And we're gonna let it write the changes to the USB drive. This process might take about a minute or two depending on the speed of your computer. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, the formatting is now complete. It says we have ready status. This USB drive has now been formatted and has the Android TV operating system loaded on it. We can go ahead and unplug the device and plug it into whatever computer you want to install Android TV. And that's it. That's how you create an Android TV bootable USB drive. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If you're looking for other guides and tutorials, please check out the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.